Fresh off of its debut in Seoul, Korea, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 is already bringing big updates to the foldable lineup. And fresh off of the festivities up in Seoul, I am now in Busan here in Korea uh, to spend more time with the foldables. And here we are with day one on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. And those 24 hours essentially started right after Unpacked. Unpacked itself was an absolute madhouse, not necessarily just because of the devices themselves, but because of the people promoting it. Because there are all these lines for us to follow to get to our like check-in and entrance and whatnot, but there are all of these people that are lined up right now because Suga and Stray Kids are supposed to be hanging out here for Unpacked as well. So hopefully we'll be able to get through the line pretty easily. And the experience zone where people were able to check out the phone for themselves uh, was actually partially put together by the set designer of Squid Game. So it was definitely an event injected with a lot of Korean culture, which I thought was a great touch. Right after Unpacked, however, it was time to get into the phones themselves. Good morning. First day with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. Let's get started. But you know what? While I go freshen up and get ready, I wanna show you the unboxing real quick. And I mean real quick. You probably know the drill by now when it comes to unboxing recent Samsung devices. There's no charging brake, you just get the USB-C cable and a SIM tool, and of course the phone itself. As you can see, I have the signature color for the Galaxy Z Flip 5, uh, but you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this mint a little bit later in the video, and I'll explain why. First impressions of the phone, however, are that it just continues what the last couple of generations have presented. Now it's just a boxier design. The flatter sides are usually pretty nice to feel, but now it is even better because it just feels like a brick when the phone is closed, and that's because there's no more gap in the middle. It is really all about that covered display though. It is actually called the Flex Window, and it's in the Flex Window that you have a bunch of extra capabilities. Full screen, at least full screen for the cover display, full screen widgets that give you a lot of information like the weather and access to things like timers. And then if you get into the labs area for the cover display for the Flex Window, you can turn on a set number of applications, including YouTube maps and in the case of being in Korea, neighbor maps. But of course, you know that my main favorite thing to do with the flex window, as it is called, uh, is to get some selfies and some videos done using the main cameras, whether it's standing the phone up or holding it for vlog style footage. Now you're gonna be seeing a lot of videos and photos coming out of the Galaxy Z Flip 5 in this video, but this is not necessarily a real world camera test. Uh, however, uh, I am going to be showing a lot of my first 24 hours, my day one with the phone and through the phone. So make sure you see the area at the bottom of the screen so you know when the footage and photos are coming from the phone. Now you all know I'm already loving this cover display, uh, especially to be able to do vlogging shots like this. It looks like right over here, we're gonna be getting some real insight into the design of the Galaxy Z Flip 5 from the design team themselves. We're actually in the R&D department for Samsung and design is a big thing here. You can already tell just by how this place looks. Samsung really wanted to put in the spirit of personalization when it comes to the Galaxy Z Flip 5. And that doesn't just mean having a bunch of different accessories and the fact that you can actually change up the plates on certain cases for the phone, but also the fact that the flex window gives you more of that flexibility. After all, you are able to choose from a number of different backgrounds or even create your own via the gallery photos or even live wallpapers so that you can make the flex window really exude your own personality. I'm not hating on the mint color. But look, oh wait, that may not be something I should touch. <laughs> okay, I can pick it up. It's just that the hinge is not complete. That's why it's not really staying on. But look at the matte black, and then you have this yellow right here. This is exactly the version that I would want, black and yellow. The green over here that has a strong jade shade to it, that one I really adore as well. But I mean, look at this yellow. This is awesome. This is only available on samsung.com, by the way. These are exclusive to the website. So yeah, definitely check the links in the description so you can get these colors for yourself as well. I do plan on putting like a custom wallpaper on here eventually, but there were already some options to give this like a jade, almost matcha green-like color. So that's what I went for. It also goes well with the case here, which is a full-on mint case that matches very well with the mint color of the phone. So if you like the mint, you can actually go full minted out uh, using one of the uh, official Samsung Samsung cases. And I actually got this case while at that design center um, at Samsung's campus. It was pretty funny because there were people doing presentations on Samsung's design.
design philosophy and whatnot. Um, and we kind of got a bit of a pop quiz and we were asked a couple of questions uh, from the previous presentation at one point. I happen to remember uh, those notes because I was taking notes on the presentation and because I spoke up and I got the question right, they actually gave me this free case. So you know I'm gonna be using it because I got it in a pretty unique way. <laughs> So much. Oh, it's over here. Grapefruit black tea. Sero sugar. Literally. Yeah. Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm kind of coming to you from the future in this video uh, because it is the morning after day one with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. Uh, and it ended with a, let's just say, fantastic dinner and quite a bit of drinks, which is why I need some hydration. For today's tea break, we're actually gonna do tea the way that you do in a Korean convenience store, which is pretty fun. You get the actual tea, which is packaged like this, and thank goodness it is zero sugar, and you get a cup of ice, straight up. There's just like a cooler with all of these cups of ice. Uh, you open this up, it all goes in. So for today's tea, it's grapefruit black tea because that's the one that was here that was actually tea and was actually zero sugar. <laughs> this is my first time ever having tea like this and this is how it's done in a Korean convenience store. So I feel like today's reminder for this tea break is have a bunch of first times. Just try new things and the first time of everything can be a wonderful memory and you can build a lot of memories and have awesome stories to share if you try new things and have a lot of first times. So this is one of them. And besides, there are a lot of first times that are happening during this time that I'm here in Seoul. Uh, not only did Unpacked happen in Seoul, and I definitely wanted to experience that, as we speak right now, or as I speak right now in this video, I'm also on the way to Busan on a bullet train. It's a two hour journey and I'm getting the rest of this video done on the train. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of first times and a bunch of things that are gonna be awesome to remember. And that will be our tea break for today. I'm gonna go ahead and just sip on this sweet tasting but thankfully not sugary tea uh, and thank you for hanging out with me during this tea break because I hope you come for the tech and you stay for the tea. All right let's get back to day one with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. over to it, the Hanuk village. We're actually in Insadong right now. So all of these little alleyways and whatnot, uh, you can see behind me, a ton of different things to explore around here, especially when it comes to food. There's a bunch of little places to grab some quick bites and whatnot. I actually haven't eaten all day, so I definitely want to get some food right now. If there's one thing that was abundantly clear, it's that performance is where it should be on the Galaxy Z Flip 5. After all, every year, you're going to get what is the latest and greatest in performance at that time, and in this case, it's the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. So I just learned something. Uh, the Hanuk village that we're here at right now is actually not the one I thought we were going to. This one's in Iksedong. Uh, the other one that I was thinking of is a very quaint, small little village in Bukchon, so it's a little bit different. This one, you can run around and buy a bunch of stuff, eat a bunch of stuff, and well, I guess for us, get content captured on the Galaxy Z Flip 5 in this case. But certainly running among a few different applications, taking notes during that presentation, all of these general tasks, the phone was more than capable of performing. One thing I do wanna make sure I point out, however, is that while Samsung DeX is still not on the Galaxy Z Flip, what is finally here is Display Out, uh, HDMI out or Display Port available in the USB-C port here on the Z Flip 5. That's something I certainly enjoy because I like using AR glasses, but also if you happen to have a way of connecting it to a TV, that might be useful for like hotels and whatnot while on the go. One thing that the covered display uh, lets you do with the cameras when you have the phone closed is it lets you go into 16 by nine, even though you're you're basically holding the phone in a lance, in vertical mode, I should say. It's confusing because what it's really doing is it's just taking out a 16 by 9 frame by cropping into the sensor when it's basically vertical. Anyway, the point is <laughs> that when you do that, um, you can only really do it at 1080p resolution. You can't go any higher than that because it's cropping into the sensor. Uh, so that means we're using the wide angle lens here, the ultra wide, to get this shot. It doesn't look that bad to me in all honesty, but it is only 1080p. Are we are we doing the ultra wide? Yeah. Ah, okay. That's like, yeah. whoa. <laughs> yeah. Moto with me. Comparisons will come eventually. Yeah, I'm do, I'm doing mine right now. 
Uh, thoughts on the motor? Actually, you know, while you're doing that, I'm like, it's a Samsung video. What are you doing? While there wasn't a ton of downtime during this very packed day with Samsung the day after unpacked, I do want to mention that I found myself not necessarily using the flex window for too many of the extra applications. It was really useful for just checking the time, having the always on display there, and then when turning it on, checking the weather because we were always worried it was going to end up raining in Seoul. One thing I do wish is that other applications were already available on here like Telegram because when you get a Telegram message, for example, it already works pretty well in giving you the ability to reply with a full size keyboard and all of that. Through the notification, there's plenty of functionality already, so it shouldn't be that hard to just adapt to the rest of the application to here. Although I will say doing full replies to things like emails and telegram messages may not be something I want to do a whole lot on the smaller display. I'll be opening up the phone more often than not to make things a bit easier. But in terms of making things a little bit easier, the flex window is just a quality of life update for those who want to use the rear cameras for a wide range of applications. And that's exactly what was going to happen when we went to a webtoon class where we learned how to draw ourselves in the style of some Korean webtoons. Now, if you don't already know, webtoons in Korea is a little bit like manga in Japan. Only in Korea, a lot of webtoons are actually adapted into some of our favorite Korean dramas. Uh, shows like a Taiwan class and business proposal are literally inspired and follow the storylines from webtoons made by artists. So it looks like we have Tab S9 Ultras right here, and this is a webtoon drawing class. So we are literally going to be taking this S Pen and learning how to draw in the style of the webtoon artist that is going to be here. And that's Pretty interesting. So while I was already doing handheld shots using the flex window as a viewfinder for vlog style shooting, walk and talks and stuff like that, uh, this was a perfect time to show off how the phone just standing on its own and having a wide view for me to see myself would make it easy to just vlog this portion of the trip. Honestly, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 and foldables of this particular form factor have always been fun for this type of application, especially for content creators. Look, I never said I was an artist. <laughs> but the lines are probably right? okay. Uh, the colors are definitely not. Uh, but uh, hey, it was fun. And the S Pen actually had quite a bit of precision on the Tab S9 Ultra, I have to admit. Uh, that was pretty fun. And uh, this might be a fun exercise to like actually practice drawing. Uh, at some point. Do I wish that the cameras were updated hardware? Absolutely. Uh, but for now, the flex window is going to be the update we get in the quote unquote camera package. And I think it's pretty worthy of being called an upgrade. And here we are, yet another example of the perfect scenario for a wide angle camera, ultra wide angle camera. This is what's called the Starfield Library. It's a bookstore, but it's also one of the largest bookstores in the world. Uh, you can see just how tall all of the books go up in the shelves, all the way up to the roof, and you gotta go up to the second floor to even access some of them. Uh, and yeah, it's right in the middle of Coex Mall, one of the biggest malls, if not the biggest mall in Seoul. Uh, it is home to a ton of different places to eat, a ton of different places to buy stuff, and honestly, it is one of the biggest malls I have ever been in. Uh, I also was easily able to hit like 15,000 steps uh, just by walking around this mall back and forth from the venue and where Unpacked was, which was in Coex. Uh, so yeah, if you want to get your steps in and you also want to get some shopping done, uh, there's no better place to do it. Given the fact that day ones are usually full of setup and there's a lot of camera usage going on, the Galaxy Z Flip 5 was working like a champ. However, right before dinner, I did find myself needing to plug it in just to make sure I can survive what was set to be a pretty festive night. I was able to get a few hours of screen on time and that's with a ton of camera usage and still have 25% left in the battery. I thought it would be a good at this time to just top things up before dinner. And let's just say dinner was fantastic on the final night here with Samsung. And then the drinks that followed were also fantastic in their own right. But that meant that we were going to go ahead and call it a night uh, after that round of drinks. And so there you have it. A look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 in my first day, my day one with the phone, using it for a ton of things, especially for vlogging and for documenting a wonderful day in Seoul, Korea with Samsung.
If you have followed even the last two generations of the Galaxy Z Flip, then you pretty much know what to expect here from a performance and a camera perspective. A lot of what we are seeing in the Galaxy Z Flip 5 happens to be, as I said in my hands-on video, quality of life updates. And I think that they are worthy ones to consider. Are you interested in the new foldables or any of the devices that were announced that Samsung unpacked? Well, I have links in the description down below and in a pinned comment so that you can pre-order the Flip or the Fold, but of course there's also the watch and the tablet as well. So make sure you check them out in the areas downstairs. From there though, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on this day one. I'm going to continue to be making videos starting here in Busan and then going back to Seoul for a few more days afterwards. Look forward to more videos like that by subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and each other and enjoy your tea, everybody. I just took trade up ruined his Freaking, shot. I'm so sorry. This fool right here, I, I swear to God. This guy's shot. No, it, that's staying in. I'm telling you right now, that's staying in. My God.